Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue the types of demand, guys. Okay, so the fourth type of demand types are durable and non-durable goods, guys. So basically, durable from the name itself, we can say they will be for a long time, or they they will be durable means we can use them again and again for some extent. Whereas non-durable means they are only for single use or only for trials, right? Fine. So durable goods. Durable goods are those whose total utility or use is not exhausted by a single use. So in a single use, it it does exist after single use also. Example will be clothes and shoes. Whereas non-durable goods, they will not exist after single use, guys. Like food. If you eat food, can you get it back? Get the back. Get back this exact food without paying money again. No, it's not possible. So that's the reason why that comes under non-durable. So even we are having short-term and long-term demand, guys. So short-term demand. The best example for short-term demand will be your in rainy season there will be a high demand for raincoats and umbrellas whereas in winter season we will be having for sweaters like that we will be having some some seasonal goods right so those all comes in the short term whereas long term our food which we will be continuously will be demanding in every season whatever the time might be we need that right so those comes under long term demand so short term demand short term demand refers to the demand for which for such goods as are demand for a short time so seasonal goods sweaters etc whereas a long term long term demand refers to the demand which exists over a long period rice oil etc okay let us continue we are also having joint demand and composite demand joint demand so one demand depends on the other so these two are joint whereas composite they both are individual joint demand the best example will be car and petrol guys so if you buy a car you indirectly need to buy petrol so that's the relation whereas composite means steel and clothes they do, they do not have any de dependency fine so when two or more goods are joint demand at the same time fine okay composite demand here we can get many alternatives using a particular product okay so after that we are having direct and indirect guys direct is nothing but which the consumer consumes or uses it directly so demand for goods that are directly used by the consumer so bread tea we will be using them directly right yes so whereas indirect so indirect demand is a demand for goods that are not used directly by the consumer like machines or systems will be consuming it no fine so total market and segmented market demand so total market demand is nothing but it is uniform all over the place guys like our educational demand in india or anywhere so segmented demand segmented demand is nothing but in a whole india a small part it will be highly requested so like creamstone in hyderabad fine so i hope everyone got a small idea so now let us go through some futures of demand guys so price of the demand can be justified consumer income and price of the subsidiary products taste and habit these all need to be kept constant guys be before we do this so price of the goods should be constant consumer income should be constant price of the subsidiary products should be constant and taste of the habit should be constant fine okay so in the next lecture we will be going through the demand function guys thank you thanks for watching